hello friend in this video lecture i'm going to discuss about heat plot in alteryx so here you can see this is the alteryx designer and the uh, new workflow and if you go inside data investigation here you can see heat plot so this is the definition about the heat plot so here upload the numerical bivariant dens density of two numerical fields using color so two numerical fields we can compare with the colors and here indicate variation variation in the density of data for different levels of two fields so this is about the heat plot now let's understand by example so here let's go to in out here or drag this in or uh, input data inside the workflow here you can connect with file or database so i'm going to connect with file so now you need to click here files and uh, select so here I'm going to click this uh, selecting the file name D. So D because here you can see this is the two numerical fields are there. Now it has uh, so many uh, it's uh, displaying uh, 100 but it has uh, multiple rows means of uh, 2 3 thousand rows. Now here after the next is I'm going to filter the rows. So filter the rows we need to go on or uh, filter and uh, here drag this and uh, here click and uh, select uh, demand id so demand id start all the numerical field it start from one now continue and here we need to give less than so i want to display only or till 100 rows so this is the condition now here after data investigation drag this heat plot or uh, st stabilize the link now automatically it's taken so x variant and y variant so y variant gi i'm giving demand and uh, you can see here at this place demand so this is for y variant y and here this is for x so x for demand id now I want to display uh, this variant uh, result on the diagram. So for the diagram we need to use this blouse. Now drag this and hereafter you need to run this uh, workflow. After that you can get to uh, here 100 rows were true, 311, 319 were false. So it was total rows 3200. 94 and uh, only selected and here you can see this is the demand id 1 2 3 and uh, demand this all values now here after let's go at this place so it do the filtering so here it's all all the values coming there after doing the filter here it's not top 100 and uh, here you can see this is on uh, 54 here 248 and here 51 451 now if i click on this so here is so uh, rendering and uh, since the value value is the 451 so here this is the demand and uh, it go 100 because i have given the condition till 100 so here you can see demand id till go 100 okay 100 and uh, on this here this is uh, 51 451 is the highest uh, value so that here this is the demand that go till 451 now here you can see the heat plot so here this is somewhere this is the orange yellow and uh, this is so uh, red or uh, color it's a uh, display so when the red color then uh, values are higher and uh, if the red not red color the value is uh, lesser so here you can see demand id and uh, demand id and demand so with the use of heat plot we can easily see here two fields variation according to given or uh, diagram with the uh, colors so here if you click on this here you can see this is the data and this is here a uh, graph main title size uh, and uh, this all those things so with the help of this heat plot we can easily identify the variation of here you can see heat plot and uh, variation of these two fields 
uh, with the respective uh, two fields here respective two fields demand id and demand so i hope guys this video is helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next video thank you